Are you about to take a short or long haul flight and you want to be prepared? I've taken over thousands of flights over the years around the world and here in the USA, and I've got 12 travel hacks that are going to save you a lot of time, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I want to help you out. I want to help make sure your flight is super awesome and smooth and enjoyable. Even in economy, these tips are great for you. Let's get into it. Tip number one, airline apps. A lot of people still don't know this, but every airline around the world has their own app and you need this downloaded before you get to the airport for a lot of different reasons. One being, it will tell you what your flight is, your confirmation number, when it is, what the gate is, what the terminal is. It also has stuff that a lot of people don't know about, like an airport map that can show you the airport, where restaurants are, where bathrooms are, where the lounges are, things that you might want to get to, stores for water and drinks and snacks. Um, it also usually has a flight tracker in it. And when you get on the flight, when you get to the airport, you're going to want to use it for your boarding pass. And then when you get on the flight, you're going to want to use it for a flight tracker, entertainment. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of great things and reasons why you want to have this. So get, get it downloaded on your phone, get logged in, make sure you're all set several days before your flight, preferably as far out as you can. The minute you book your flight, get, get the app for that airline that you booked on. American, United, Delta, Alaska, JetBlue, Singapore Airlines, British Airways. There's, you know, there's so many airlines out there that all have their own apps. And I've used a ton of them. They all are a little different, but they all do the same thing. They give you a boarding pass. They give you your, your flight information. They give you the airport map most of the time. They give you a flight tracker during your flight. A lot of great tips. And even if you have a screen on your flight, maybe it's a long haul flight and you have a screen on the back of your, in front of you. Most of the time, what's on there is also available in the app. So if you want to use your phone or your iPad or something like that, it's just a, a little tip there. Sometimes you do. Tip number two, along the same lines, most of us have streaming services at this point. We have Netflix, we have Disney Plus, we have Hulu, we have Max, we have um, Peacock TV, YouTube. We have all these different things, right, that allow us to Paramount Plus to allow us to watch things at home and stuff. But most of these apps, except for like Hulu, who's a little finicky about things, will let you download content, TV shows, movies onto your device, on your phone or your iPad. I prefer to do both. And I even download some on my laptop just to be sure that like if we're in a hotel room, later on after the flight, we have some access if we, if we can't find something to watch on the TV. I also travel with a Roku stick to hook to the TVs in the hotels. That's just a little bonus side tip. Don't tell nobody I, I got off script, okay? <laughs> so this goes to the same thing as like Audible. If you want to listen to audiobooks, podcasts, download podcasts, uh, streaming services for music like Spotify, YouTube Music, um, Apple Music, all these, all these services offer download to the device offline mode. Download your stuff so you can listen to stuff. A lot of times the system will crash or it won't have a movie, TV, or music, or book you want to listen to, especially long haul flights. It can be like 14 hours, 11 hours on that flight. You want to have stuff that's prepared for you, right? So this is a huge tip that a lot of people I see miss. Um, and I've, I've learned this the hard way myself that I didn't, I forgot to download something and it, as soon as I get in the flight, the Wi-Fi is out or something, I can't get into their system and so I'm just stuck. So now I keep things downloaded on my stuff. So now I keep stuff on my phone, for my audiobooks, for my music, for podcasts and streaming services, just so you know, here's a tip, that if you download stuff, they do expire. So if you download something 30 days out, it could be expired if that's, you know, past that 30 days. So. Do those a few days before your flight, but do them at home when your Wi-Fi is really strong because some of them are really big. They have to download like a movie or something. You might want several movies, some TV shows, especially if you're going overseas. It's a great idea because you can use them in the hotel or coming back on your flight, coming back, things like that. I hope this really helps you. These are hacks that I have learned the hard way that I want to keep you from having to learn the hard way because you're, you're, you're spending a lot of money, right? On a flight, you want to enjoy it and you want to have a good, comfortable, relaxing time.
So tip number three is a, is an app called TripIt. A lot of people don't know about this app, but it's a really cool app because it lets you download it for free and use it for free. There's some premium stuff on there, but you can still use it for free. And it'll let you plan your trip and share it with your group. So if you're going with your family or friends or something like that, you can literally plan it out and share it. Like on this day at 8 a.m., we're gonna go to this tour. We're gonna, you know, at 12 o'clock, we're gonna go to this tour. You can also do this for your flight. So you can like book what time your flight is. You can even set alarms for like, I need to wake up, I need to get an Uber, I need to be there, you know, things like that. So it's a really cool app, check that out. All the links to all this stuff will be right below in the description. Some of them are affiliate links, so I make a little bit of money off that to support the channel. And I appreciate you guys using those links, it's really helpful. So tip number four, tip number four is another app called FlightAware. I use this a lot, I've loved this app, I've used it for years, it's a great app. It lets you also track your flight, but it gives you more details like where your airplane is. Is it on the way? Is it on the ground? Where is it coming from? It gives you a lot of details where somebody like me that's like to plan and know, is it going to be delayed? Is it, is things going to happen? Where things are? I just love this app because it's so detailed and it also gives you the idea to, of what the TSA security wait lines are. So you can see, you know, like, should I go a little early? Should I, is it like light? Maybe I can go leave five minutes later or something like that. Especially for domestic flights, it's really helpful for that. Tip number five is just set alarms on your phone. If you go into your Apple phone or your Android or Android phone and you go to the clock, go into your iPhone or your Android phone and just set your alarms, you know, like you normally would. So what we do is we set an alarm for when we need to leave. We set an alarm for when we need to order an Uber. A lot of times now I do the Uber pre-schedule because I can look ahead and see what it's going to cost and I know it's going to be there. Um, do that a lot. So it's a very helpful tool. You can do that on Lyft as well if you like Lyft. Just not a big fan of them. Uh, I use Uber mostly. Tip number six, tip number six is airlines rewards programs. Airlines reward programs are free and you're going to earn miles on your flight. So there's two things to this. Sign up for them. They're free. If you're flying American, if you're flying Delta, if you're flying United, JetBlue, Alaska, Southwest, any airlines, Singapore Airlines, British Airways, um, ANA, JAL, Jap 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 the Japanese airline, um, Scoot, AirAsia, whatever you're flying, sign up for the program because you're going to earn rewards for free. You're going to earn miles for free. And I recommend the second option here, or second a note here, is pick one or two airlines that you fly the most and stick with them. Try to stick with one, but I know sometimes that's tricky because of you know budgets and prices and, and times and stuff like that. So try to pick, I, I personally do American and Southwest um, just because of where I'm at. Those are the two that service me the best. And that way you earn, you build up the miles, you build up rewards, you build up perks. You build, you, you level up with them so you get more stuff, you get more miles. It's just a super helpful thing. And as you build up more, you're going to get to get free flights or free stuff. So it's really, really good. And it's free. You just got to sign up, sign up your wife, sign up your husband, sign up your kids, everybody, whoever's flying, make sure they all have an account and a number. So they're always earning and just open up a note or Evernote or some password protector that you use, something where you keep secure stuff and make sure you keep a track of all those numbers when you signed up, who, you know, what airline it is, because you're eventually going to book another flight. And you're going to want that. And sometimes you book with different, different times. You just, you know, for different people. So you, you it won't remember their number. It'll only remember who signed in. So that's just a little helpful hint that I figured out along the way. Hope this helps you. Number seven, portable chargers this is a question i get a lot and if you've watched any of my videos you're going to see that i mention this a lot because we use our portable chargers like crazy i mean crazy so i used to recommend away travel if you see some of my videos you're going to see that because they came it came with a pop out portable battery it was built in didn't take up any extra room was easily accessible you could use it at the airport you could pop it out use it on the plane use it when you're touring around you know wherever you're at it's just a really great thing. They took that away, so I've switched to July. I've got a video on that coming. But you can buy these on Amazon as well for pretty cheap. 
you want like 5,000, 10,000 milliamps, something, you know, significant. So it'll charge your phone. We also use these little chargers that we carry on the plane with us now that just pop in to our phones and they don't require wires or cords and stuff like that. They just charge the phone up at least twice. Usually we get twice out of them and they're just really nice. They're small. They fit in your pocket. Just very nice. If you're on the plane, especially like an economy where you don't have a lot of room, you just want something small and little to charge your phone if you need to. But this is huge because inevitably you're going to forget that you're, you use your phone a lot that day because you're getting ready for, especially long haul flights, you're getting ready for the trip or you get to the airport and there's a delay. There's a three hour delay. You know, whatever, whatever the reason is, or you on the, the plane for a long time, and you're watching movies, watching TV, you're texting, you're on the internet, whatever you're doing is burning that battery up. And you're like, Oh no, I need, I need battery. I need power. Cause when you get there, you're going to need to order an Uber. You're going to need to find out where you're going. You're going to need stuff, right? This is just becoming an invaluable thing. So I'm going to put the link down below to both of those. I want you to check those out. July has a great uh, carry on luggage, which we'll talk about in a minute that comes with a, a USB C and USB charger. And I'll also put the little portable one uh, that I use and I'll put a one on Amazon that I recommend that I use that I've used for a long time. That works really good. All right. Tip number eight. This is going fast. This is going fast and this is going to help you. Hope you're writing all this down. Or if you're not, the links are and stuff are right down below in the description, right below the video. This is something I've learned through trial and error. Okay. So this is, this is like some people like this, some people don't, but I, I've been on so many flights, especially long haul flights that I have to get my bag out, my backpack out, and I have to get my headphones. I have to get my phone charger. I travel with an Airfly Pro, which is this device that lets me, uh, wirelessly transmit the audio from the screen to my Bose headphones, my Bose comfort and quiet comfort headphones, which we'll talk about in a second. So I have that and I have my ex, you get a lot of gas on a plane. So I take gas pills. I'm lactose intolerant. So I take lactose pills in case I want to have some ice cream or something. And I don't want to cause a problem. Um, <laughs> there, uh, we also take these jet lag pills with us. So we have those that we pop every two hours that go in, go in there and then we don't take them back because it's all, it's a whole thing. I'll put that down below. You can check it out. There's other videos on that. It's a lot of, you just have a lot of things like, uh, we carry little, uh, portable toothbrushes. We carry, um, little, just little things that are comfort to us. You know, maybe some little snacks. Um, I need to charge my, I sometimes get my laptop out and stuff. Anyways, whatever you have, whatever you want to take with you, this tip, <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Okay. It's a long road. <laughs> it's take a little small bag that fits in your backpack because that has all that in it. Because when you get on that plane, whether you're in business, especially if you're in economy, you can just pull that bag out and you got everything with you. You don't have to like dig through your bag, trying to find everything. Like I've done so many times you, you'll have everything there with you. And it's really nice. It's very cool. Highly recommend it. There's some for guys and girls can usually just use like their makeup bag. I use the peak tech bag. I love it because it's got a lot of little pockets. It's small, but it's stiff enough that it doesn't like, you know, squish and stuff. I don't know, but I'll put that down below. You can check it out. See what you think. Use whatever you need, whatever you have to, because remember, we're all about traveling in style on a budget. So if you don't need it, don't buy it. But if you do buy it, it'll be worth it. I promise you. We're at tip number nine. Tip number nine. Tip number nine. Headphones. Now, I've already mentioned this. I've got uh, the Bose Quiet Comfort headphones that I've mentioned in many of my videos. I love, we, we both just love those. We bought them for our parents too on a trip to Europe because they, they'd never gone over there. And we just, you know, it's like the noise canceling alone is like just worth the money, but also they sound amazing and they're super comfortable. And I'm a, I run hot. I'm a big guy in case you haven't noticed. Um, and so they're so comfortable and they, I, I wear them for hours and hours and hours with no issues. And I have for, Oh my goodness, six years now, six years I've had them and they still look new. They still work perfectly. They still hold the battery great six years. I mean, it's amazing. I highly recommend them. Um, 
it's just it's just really good. I also recently picked up these. I did a whole video on this on the Zach is my main channel. Um, these are Pixel Bud Pros. I use them with my iPhone, but they're more comfortable to me than the AirPod Pros. And they're noise canceling as well, so they fit really comfortably in my ears. But you can also use AirPod Pros. I'll put the link down to both of those in the description. But the reason for these having something a little smaller is so you can lay down if you're in a business class or first class. Um, you'll have a lay flat on long hauls, and you may want to lay down, and you won't you won't want the big over the ear headphones. So I take both. You know, I've traveled a lot, so I've accumulated some stuff to do on this video, and also to try things out but mainly get the bows, get the bows. It's just really, it's really, I cannot recommend it enough. And some people just don't like over the ear. So these, these noise cancel and they have a transparency, which is great because you can wear them pretty indiscreetly. I got blue cause we're Zachas, we're blue Zachas, but um, some people just prefer that than over the ears. So I like both. I use both. Sometimes on short flights, I just need something quick like this. And then sometimes on long haul flights, most of the time on long haul flights, I'll use my Bose headphones. And I also just got the new Apple AirPod Maxes. Uh, they're super awesome too. They're a little heavier and li the, the battery's a little like, goes really fast to me compared to the Bose. But I also use those sometimes on flights because they just, they sound really good and they feel really good. And uh, I like the way they look. Taking a long haul flight, you need something to cancel out the screaming babies, the talking, the noise, just the ambiance and stuff, right? You need to better just like go into your cocoon and in economy too, especially in economy, you need to just better come down out of that little space and like focus on whatever you're watching or listening to and, and just block out some stuff because it's crazy back there. Tip number 10. On the travel hacks, we're at tip number 10. This is a collapsible duffel bag. This is something I also learned the hard way. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll see that sometimes we go over the weight limit a little bit, you know, and so you have to take everything out of the bag. So I've had to buy bags from like Southwest or from the airline. Um, so now I bring this. It's also a great thing to have, even if you're under the weight limit, to just, especially if you're taking long haul flights, you're going over, maybe you're gonna pick up a souvenir you didn't think you were gonna pick up or buy some clothes you didn't know you were gonna buy. It's just great because it's folded and, and compressed like in your suitcase and you can just pop it out and take it as a, an extra bag. You, can, you might have to pay a little fee, but a lot of times you don't, especially if you're in business class or first. But if you have to pay a little fee, at least you have a bag there and you have the ability to take it with you. That's just a little tip I've learned. It's really helpful. I've started scuba diving. So now we, when we travel, we do scuba diving a lot. So I need that too, to pop out when I go scuba diving and put like towels and my dry bags and stuff into just to haul to, to the, to the boat. Number 11. I don't even know how to do that with my hands. Okay. But tip number 11 is what I've mentioned already is just, is luggage, carry on luggage and check luggage. So carry on luggage. I highly recommend July. They are a brand new company, pretty new, but they have the same build quality that Away has, but they also still offer that battery pack. And I'm telling you, it's massively huge to have that with you built into your suitcase. Whether you're flying, you know, a short little two hour flight or you're flying 15 hours around the world, it's just nice to have, you know, it's nice to have it right there. We can plug a cable into it. You can pop it out and take it with you. It's just something that's worth it. I left away travel after all these years of, of, of supporting them and pushing their stuff because I love it. We love it. My whole family has away stuff and, but we're never buying the new ones because they don't come with the, the battery pack. So I highly recommend July. It's just as good. It has the compression. It has all the magic and the quality that away has. And they look amazing too. They're the same size. It's just a better company and they're the same price too. So you're going to not spend more. So just, I'm doing a whole video. I just bought their check luggage. It's beautiful, it's blue, and gonna use that on a, on a cruise ship that we're, we're going to later in the year. But I'm not, I mean, if you wanna do away, you wanna do Mon, Monso, uh, there's, there's, I just did a video on Soul Guard. There's so many good luggage options. But when you come to me, to my channel, I'm gonna recommend what I love and why I love it. I can't recommend things that I don't like, right? 
Whatever you do, make sure you get four wheels that are 360 degrees spinning. You really, really need this. It's super helpful because it gives you the diversity of easily wheeling that thing, no matter what's on it, quickly through an airport or quickly through things. But if you ever need to lean it over, you can still do two wheels like on carpet or something and pull it along behind you. I used to do, I did a whole series on Giro. I did a whole series on luggage back on my main channel before I did a travel channel. And most of my luggages were like pull behinds. When I finally got away with the four wheels, I was like, holy moly, I'm never going back. So it's just something to look out for no matter what you're doing, try to do that. Even if you go to TJ Maxx and you're wanting just something cheap and easy, go there. If you want something that lasts and has quality, go to July. I'm telling you the compression sleeve alone is worth the money. It's magic. The stuff I can fit in that bag is unbelievable to me. Every time I fly, I still, I tell her all the time, like, it just, it's unbelievable how much you can fit in there because of those compression, um, that compression sleeve that goes down over it and just pushes it down and keeps everything just, it's just, it's amazing. I can't tell you enough about it. And another thing a lot of people do is they, they, most people prefer to get like black or white, something that everybody has, a color everybody has. So there's also this cool thing you can put a luggage handle wrap on the, on the pull up bar. It's just a little wrap that goes along. It's, it's a little softer, so it's easier to grab, but it's also makes it identifiable, especially for check luggage. Do something to your check luggage to make sure that you can spot it immediately when it's on that belt. Sticker, a lot of people put stickers on there. They put a band around it. They put something on there to know. Now for me, I get cool colors. So I've got a, a, a very rare, unique green and black from away. And of course I've got the blue from July. So I'm gonna spot that thing immediately, okay? <laughs> But you just never know. Sometimes I've had to check my uh, carry-on because like when we were flying to, uh, we were flying to Dubai, we were flying, um, no, to Italy, we were flying Lufthansa and Lufthansa thought my luggage looked big. We both had the same luggage, but they thought mine looked big. So they made me check my carry-on. So you just never know. You want to have identifiable things on there. Make sure it's locked. For TSA it locks. I love to make sure that locks are built in. It's just better. I lock mine every time I set that code. I write that code down. It's just security, right? If someone gets that luggage. Another thing you want to do is get an air tag or tile. I use tile for years, but now I've switched to air tags. I just feel like they're better for different reasons, Mo mainly because there's just a larger network that can find things. I've had to use it before. Um, I used I find my phone too in Dubai when I left my phone in a Uber. So it's just good to have. You can put it on the inside or for my, for my carry on, I put it on the outside just because it, it has a better range and better signal. The batteries last about a year. So you can easily cheaply replace the batteries and it's just great. It tracks everything. The minute you leave something, it notifies you, Hey, this and this and this are not with you. Okay. I also love it because when I'm on the plane, most of the time I can see all my luggage is on the plane with me. And if you ever heard the nightmares of losing your luggage, that is a good thing to just know. Like it's on there, it's on the look, you know, it's on there. So it's just some tips I'm, I'm, I wanted to help you guys out with. So let's do the last one, it's kind of a bonus tip, number 12, and we're almost done. I know you guys are ready to take your flight and I hope this has all really helped you like just get a list together of like what you need, what will be helpful, stuff like that. And I've got more coming as well. Lots of tips and tricks to get you through security, get you on that flight, get you, make sure you have a good time, make sure you enjoy your stuff, okay? So luggage rack, that's a little, little thing people don't think about, but you know, you go to the hotel and they have a luggage rack most of the time. So you can put your luggage on, you don't have to set it on the floor, or on a bed, whatever, on a chair. You can buy these pretty cheap on Amazon. I have two in my house, so it's really nice. You can just set your luggage on there. You can pack it really easily. And this is just a really helpful tip to get you there. So I'm gonna give you one bonus tip here. I know we're, I know 13 is an unlucky number, so we'll call it bonus. And I've done, talked about this a lot in my other videos, so you may have already heard it, but snacks and drinks. Don't ever fly a flight. Don't ever fly a flight, whether it's two hours, whether it's an hour and a half, or it's 14 hours, and you think 
even if you're in first class, business class, long haul, like $10,000 seat, don't miss this. Always go get water for everybody, go get snacks for everybody. And I always get like a Coke or juice or something. I always get something sweet and salty. You never know when you're gonna be on that flight and they run several, two long haul flights, they've run out of water for us in business class. So, but we had brought our own big water bottles with us. So we were good while other people were struggling a little bit. I don't know how, what, I don't know. But I've also been on flights where I've run to the airport, I'm super thirsty, and then we get there and we have to sit on the tarmac. Or we have to, we get up and they're like, there's turbulence, we can't serve you right now. Don't be out of control, be in control. Now you can bring snacks from home, as long as they're sealed, they're dry, you can bring chips and stuff, it's cheaper that way, but you cannot bring liquids like a water bottle through security through TSA airport security. So when you get through security and you're on the sides of the gates, you're ready to go to your gate, find a store and get some water. Get a big thing of water, especially if it's a long flight, so that you don't get thirsty or something. I, I bring my Yeti tumbler because I like cold water, so I pour my water in here, especially on long haul flights, and it keeps it cold the whole time. Just another tip though, don't go through security when you land if you have a layover don't go through security with this full or a bottle of water. They will sometimes make you chug it. So make sure you empty it or something before you go through security or drink it. But that is my tip. I promise you, you're gonna be like, hmm, Zachas, he know his stuff. He know it, he know it. He gonna get me there. He gonna get me there safe. I can't count the times that I, one time I flew to just Dallas to Houston. It was like an hour flight, hour and a half flight. But there was a storm, we got on the plane, we were four hours on the tarmac. No water, no snacks. Then the flight took off and it was turbulent, so no water, no snacks. So five, six hours before I got to the hotel and got where, you know, where I could get a drink. Why, why do that? I mean, it's not that much to buy a bottle of water and just have it there so you are in control. I hope these 12 travel hacks helped you. I hope you have an amazing flight. I love seeing your beautiful faces and I love that you're getting to travel. It's so exciting to get to try new places or go to places you've been to that you love. Maybe you're just going to see family or going to on a new adventure. I love all that stuff. We are here to help you travel in style on a budget. I'm building itineraries out. I'm very detailed about everything. I wanna help you guys like be able to plan and know like what hotels are the best, where to go, what to do. That's what this channel's gonna be about. That's what I'm gonna be doing here. I hope you love it. If you do hit that subscribe button, you'll get notified first when I put up great videos. And comment below if you have some other hacks that I missed. Like I would love to hear from you if you have travel hacks that you have found in all your travels. And until the next time, travel safe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Daddy.